Hi, I'm David Baxter. And I'm Kasha Thompson. And welcome to Cabarrus This Week. And to, hey, this week we're with our alpaca friends here at 12 Acres Academy in Mount Pleasant. And uh, we got a lot of information to talk about. And Kasha's going to tell you all about the alpacas and 12 Acres Academy. And we've got a lot of other stuff to talk about. So grab that pen and paper so you can jot that contact info down. But if you miss something, don't worry about it. We'll give you a web address and an email address at the end of the show. We're here at 12 Acres Academy where they breed and board alpacas and dairy goats in Mount Pleasant. The farm is owned and operated by Derek and Loretta Laughlin. They have a passion for their farm and are eager to share the farm experience with others. Alpacas are considerably smaller than llamas and are bred specifically for their fiber. Alpaca fiber is used for making knitted and woven items. Alpaca fleece is a lustrous and silky natural fiber. While similar to sheep's wool, it's warmer, not scratchy, and has no lanolin, which makes it hypoallergenic. 12 Acre Academy offers tours and classes for individuals or groups where the participants can feed and walk the alpacas, milk a goat, and help shear and process the fiber from the alpaca's coats. The farm also offers a farm store where you can purchase garments made from alpaca fiber, as well as goat milk soap, beeswax products, and raw fiber for spinning, felting, or fiber arts. For more information on 12 Acre Academy, located at 401 Dutch Road in Mount Pleasant, Call 704-436-8855 or visit 12acreacademy.net. Now, if you'd like to see all kinds of different varieties of alpacas or learn more about the animals themselves, well, just come on out to the Carolina Alpaca Celebration. That's February 16th and 17th, and that's going to be at the Cabarrus Arena and Events Center. The show's going to feature a halter competition, plus a fiber arts competition, handcraft fleece competition, <laughs> competitions. <laughs> this is funny, okay. Accessories and other products from the alpaca fleece will be available for purchase. If you never rubbed one of these things, they're really, really soft. And they love carrots, okay. And they're as tall as I am. they're as tall as Kasha. Now, admission is free and the parking is also free. For more information about the Carolina Alpaca Celebration from 8.30 a.m. until 5 p.m. on Saturday, February 16th and Sunday, February 17th, just call 704-920-3976 or visit cabarrasarena.com or carolinaalpacafarms.org slash CAC. If you enjoy bird watching, then please help out by participating in the Great Backyard Bird Count Saturday, February 16th at three local parks, Camp Spencer, Frank Lisk, and North Cabarrus. Join park rangers for an early bird breakfast and then set out to help count the birds as part of the Great Backyard Bird Count. You'll learn the basics of birding and uh, this annual bird count is, and why this annual bird count is so important. Make plans to attend the free event at the park of your choice just meet the ranger at the park office. The event is free, but pre-registration is required by Thursday, February 14th at cabarrascounty.us slash reserve partner. Enter the search word bird count. For more information about the great backyard bird count taking place simultaneously at Camp Spencer Park, Frank List Park, and North Cabarrus Park from 9 until 11 a.m. on Saturday, February 16th, call 704 920-3350 or visit cabarrascounty.us slash parks or facebook.com slash cabarrascountyparks. Now perhaps a kind of simple walk in nature is what kind of your speed. It's great to enjoy this weather. We've had some kind of nice weather here just lately. Beautiful. So come witness the changes in nature at a guided nature walk on February 16th through the trails at North Cabarrus Park. Just meet the park ranger at the restroom building. The nature walk is free and open to all ages. For more information about the nature walk at 10 a.m. Saturday, February 16th at North Cabarrus Park, just call 704-920-3350 or visit cabarruscounty.us slash parks or facebook.com slash cabarruscountyparks. It's tax season, and as much as we all hate doing our taxes, there's free help available for older adults in Cabarrus County at the Senior Center through the AARP Tax Aid Program. Tax advisors will answer questions and help fill out the tax returns for senior adults. The tax advisors will be at Cabarrus County Senior Center in Concord from 8 a.m. until 3 p.m. on Mondays and Wednesdays, now through April 15th. Appointments are strongly encouraged. For more information about the AARP Tax Aid Program, held 8 a.m. until 3 p.m. on Mondays and Wednesdays, now through April 15th at Cabarrus County Senior Center in Concord, Located at 331 Corbin Avenue, call 704-920-3484.
Now there's another opportunity to dance at the Cabarrus County Senior Center. The regular Friday night dance will be held on Friday, February the 22nd. And that's from 7 to 10 p.m. featuring the music by the Tar Heel Rhythm Band. And then you also have uh, admission to the Friday night dance is only $5 at the door. Now there's going to be a special Saturday night dance. Now that requires purchasing that ticket in advance. That's going to be held on Saturday, February 26th. Again, that's from 7 to 10 p.m. Featuring the music from the Twilight. Now advance tickets for the Saturday night dance, and that's going to cost you $15. For more information about the Friday night dance on February 22nd or Saturday night dance on February 23rd, just call 704 920-3484. We visited with the Senior Center a few weeks ago mm -hmm. and we, ins we were inspired by all of the older adults remaining active and engaged throughout their retirement years and running circles around me in an exercise class for the record. <laughs> if you are 55 or older, you can be part of that inspiration by taking part in the Cabarrus County Senior Games. The early bird entry fee is $15 and is due with your registration by March 8th. After March 8th, the entry fee will cost $20. The final entry deadline is March 20th. The Senior Games is designed to encourage older adults to be more active, to learn new skills, to renew old talents, to live better and healthier, and to have more fun. A sample of the, of the athletic events available include walking, horseshoes, archery, track and field events, basketball shooting, tennis, cycling, croquet, football throws, softball, swimming, and even bowling. That's it. <clears throat> Clinics are available to teach various skills and to provide time to practice or learn a new activity. Events are held throughout April and May. Plus, those who enjoy performing or visual arts can participate in the Silver Arts Competition. Entry fee for Silver Arts costs $5. Older adults can compete in various performing arts and cheerleading or visual arts, heritage arts, literary arts, and more. For more information about the Cabarrus County Senior Games with early bird registration due by March 8th and final registration due by March 20th, call the Cabarrus County Senior Center at 704-920-3483. Now I've participated a couple of years in that and it's really great. I mean, it's, it's a whole lot of fun. You meet a lot of great people out there and there's a number of people that were 15 years older than me that took me to the woodshed in the in the track events. <laughs> Nobody some, is surprised. They, now wait a minute, now there's some really good athletes out there. Now in honor of Black History Month, the Concord branch of the Cabarrus County Public Library is presenting two events. One is on February 18th and the other February the 23rd. An evening with Warren C. Coleman is going to be featured at 5.30 p.m. on Monday, February the 18th in the library auditorium. Local actor and historian John W. Price is going to assume the role of Coleman and talk about his many works as a businessman, which includes he was the founder of the first textile mill owned and operated by black Americans. And they're also going to talk about his charitable works as well. Now the program is free and open to the public. For more information about an evening with Warren C. Coleman, call the Concord Library Information Desk at 704-920. 2054. And the second event is in recognition of Black History Month is a presentation of the Mildred Florence Stevenson Harvey Collection. And this chronicles a life of groundbreaking first and fateful service. This was a very special woman. Now this special exhibit will be housed in the local history room at the Concord Library and a, a ribbon cutting ceremony will be held at 3 p.m. on Saturday, February the 23rd in the library auditorium. For more information about the Mildred Florence Stevenson Harvey Collection, just call the Concord Library History Room at 704-920-2061. If you're a parent, parenting a child with special needs, especially those with, uh, invisible, with needs that are invisible to others, finding support and resources can be very difficult. To help, the author of the book, Easy to Love But Hard to Raise, Real Parents Challenging Kids, True Stories, is hosting a talk on Saturday, February 16th at Cabarrus Branch of the at the Concord Branch of the Cabarrus County Public Library. Adrian Eller Bashista will speak to parents and caregivers of special needs kids and will share advice about becoming your child's best advocate and the importance of finding a network of support. She will address parenting children with invisible special needs, adoption, and alternatives to the traditional classroom. For more information about the Parenting Kids with Special Needs Workshop at 2 p.m. on Saturday, February 16th at the Concord Library, call 704-920-2050 or visit cabarrascounty.us library 
or facebook.com slash Cabarrus County Library. Now the North Carolina Research Campus is offering its newest Appetite for Life Academy and that's going to be on Tuesday evenings throughout February. Now this series takes on family lifestyles and genetics to determine health, wellness, and weight loss strategies actually. You'll learn if you really become what your parents eat, mm -hmm. how diet and genetics relate to cardiovascular risk, and what really works for you on weight loss and more. Sessions are free and open to the public. However, seats are limited and registration is required by logging on to uncnri.org slash appetite forum.asp. If you are unable to attend in person, you can register online to join the webcast at uncnri.org slash webcast. For more information about the Appetite for a Life Academy series, and that's held on 7 p.m. Tuesday evening throughout February at the David H. Murdoch Core Laboratory Building at 201 North Main Street in Kannapolis. Just call 704-250-5000 or visit uncnri.org. Why not use this upcoming Valentine's to share a love of reading with your family? Sounds great. There are several opportunities coming up at the Cabarrus County Public Library. The Concord branch of the library will hold a preschool story time for ages 2 to 5 at 10 a.m. on Thursday, February 14th. The Kannapolis branch of the library will host a family story time for families with children of all ages at 10 a.m. on February 14th followed by the lap timer story time for ages 9 to 24 months at 10.30 a.m. Mount Pleasant branch of the library will host... <laughs> <laughs> You're good. Will host a toddler story time at 11 a.m. on February 14th. For older kids, the Kannapolis branch of the library will host books and more at 4 p.m. This is a read aloud book club for children ages four to seven years old that they can attend without a caregiver. Many story times and book clubs reoccur weekly. So if you can't make it this week, you can always drop by in the next week. Just check the calendar on the library's website for dates and times. For more information about library story times held Thursday, February 14th at various times and locations, Call 704-920-2050 or visit cabarrascounty.us slash library or facebook.com slash cabarrascountylibrary. Now another way to introduce children to the joys of reading is to visit the library for Family Connection Day and that's on Saturday, February the 16th. It's Kannapolis Branch of the Cabarrus County Public Library. Family Connection Day is going to feature the magician Jason Frame. He's going to make Kasha disappear. No, he won't do that. I'm for a free event, and it will be free for the entire family. It didn't work that time, did it? No. For more information about Family Connection Day from 11 a.m. until noon on Saturday, February the 16th, Kannapolis Library, just call 704-920-1180 or visit cabarruscounty.us slash library or go to facebook.com slash cabarruscountylibrary. I know that we've had a lot of information on today's show. All kinds of different things, so if you missed any contact info, just go to cabarruscounty.us and right there you'll see a little search box. Put in your topic, you can find it right there. If you have any trouble, just pop us an email at channel22 at cabarruscounty.us. You can also sign up to receive our weekly e-newsletter. Just go to our website, click on the right top side of the page and fill out some information. You can also text CTW to 22828 and remember to check us out on Facebook and Twitter. And I tell you what, if you have family and friends that don't have Time Warner Cable, can't watch us on Channel 22, or maybe you just want to watch our shows when you get a chance on demand, well, just go to CabarrusCounty.us. Right there in the home page, on the lower left, you'll see a video screen, and right below it, it says More Channel 22 Programs. Click on that, and you can see all the different shows we have, Simply Local, Historical Moments, Cabarrus This Week, the Commissioner's Meetings, all kinds of different things and any specials that we have. So I tell you what, if you've ever had a chance to be up and close with an alpaca. This got to come out to 12 Acres Academy out here. You can get up close and personal with <laughs> yeah, our little buddies. That's right. It's been a lot of fun. We've had a great time out here. Until next week, you have a great one. Take care.